Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We are five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks, and a great week. Don't take anything personally. Ignore the opinions of others. Whatever people do, feel, think, or say, don't take it personally. Others are going to have their own opinions according to their belief system, so whatever they think about you is not about you, but is about them. That's a, that's a tricky card, man. <laughs> Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 114, NASDAQ off 241, S&P's off 35, gold contract flat, 19, 22, 60 an ounce. Silver also flat, $24.50 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 464 at 97.32. Notes and bonds. A 10 year note down seven ticks at 120.22. The 30 year off a full point at 145.14 in King Dollar. King Dollar's up 131 ticks, trading out at 99.601. Euro 109. Yen is at 123.77. And the British pound is at 120, no, 130 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877. Nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. Let's get over to the futures because this is really cool where we are, folks. Okay, so we got a down market all day. You had the Fed minutes come out. Uh, that's the wrong future. Okay, here we go. So we had the Fed minutes come out. Bottom line, sank the market. Well, first, what it did, and this is what's really cool about that what we're doing right at the second. So what it did is that you had the spike higher, okay? So the, the spike higher that we're talking about is that when it came out, the spike higher was 44.95. Now, you can see what's going on. We are, right now, we're nine minutes into this bar. So you're gonna have a failure on price and a failure on volume. If you day trade, folks, okay? Well, put, put it this way. Time of the trade works whether it's a daily, weekly, monthly. You just see more if you're day trading inside it. This is going to be a classic here, okay? So at the end of this bar, okay, which is still one more minute, it still could make it, okay? The bottom line is that it would have to make 44.95. Now, if it doesn't make 44.95, that's a failure in price and volume. And where you can expect the first move to go is this. See this bar that got registered out here uh, 40 minutes ago? That bar is 4.481. So you can see the volume on that bar. Now that bar there is 61,000 contracts. Okay, so we already just failed. What will happen next is it's gonna go into the top of that bar, which is the 4481. And you're gonna need more volume in order to get the lower price. This is how this is kind of set up. So it's gonna be cool watching this whole thing shake out. My, my take is that, yeah, we already failed the first one. We'll see how this shakes out. Um, and we'll go from there, man. We take a look at the. Uh, and NQs, NQs, same type of setup. Now you gotta remember something, that the NQs are weaker than the S&P. So if we take a look at the NQs, what we have here, this she is, okay. So inside the NQs, it's the same number. The, the, the spike high there was uh, 14,634. Uh, we had 30, 38,000 contracts. Well, we got over it and we closed under it with 19,000. Bottom line, it's the same number. See how that big spike right there? On the way back down, 16,574 uh, would give it a little support. Bottom line, we'll see where this baby shakes out. My take is that we're going south once again. And we'll, we'll know really quick, because what ends up happening when you get bars like that and you get a failure, it'll come back down, try to get into it. If there's, if there's too much, if the volume is too light on the way down, guess what? You're going right back topside. So. Nice setup, man. Nice setup. Gold. Gold contract out here. We take a look at gold. Gold continues to go sideways. Light volume. This is all about the good old U.S. dollar. You know, bottom line is that dollar stays high. Gold's going to go sideways. Right now, you get uh, 145,000 contracts. You're going sideways. You're trading out here at uh, 1926. We, get a, we take a look at the silver market. What do you have with the silver market? Same thing, flat market. And that is trading out here at a price point of 24.54. Um, this, this is pretty cool, this is rejected. You can, you can see what it's doing. The, last week when we went down on the 29th, 
that's a high volume spike high, spike low rather, and that's what it's trying to get into. If we take a look at this and, there we go, you'll see that we have uh, 43,000 contracts, you're going into 76,000 contracts. So you're gonna need a lot more contract volume to break that baby. We get over to the good old King Dollar, we take a look at King Dollar. King Dollar, bottom line, couldn't handle higher price yesterday, came off it, guess what, you're over it. Bottom line, we'll see where this is shaking, but you stay, if we stay over this for a bit of time, meaning three, four, five days, then what is game is that next high out there, which is uh, 102.7, uh, plus 102.992. We look at some of the higher volume, and we are. So what is going to happen already is this. No matter where the S&P goes today, meaning if, if I'm right in the context, it's going to go back down versus basically, you know, being a nice bull and going all the way higher, you're gonna have a high volume low. We have volume in this market out here in a big way. So we reached a lower price, you're gonna have volume. Um, if we take a look at the, let's just take a look at the SPY because when you set this up, what you have is that you can see, that's 80, oh, you got a small ABC down, man. Oh, yeah, this is even better, this is cool. Okay, so let's do this. That's 462 to 450, okay, 449, you know, 13 is uh, 457, 47, 43, what did we hit? Okay, we hit, oh man, look at that. Now this is cool too, did, did you see what happened here? This was a small ABC down and it hit the, uh, the D point right on too, I mean in a monster way. But you can see from the volume already, you get a high volume spike lower. So. Uh, that is on the indices, I mean, that is on the SPY, it's on the Qs, and you can see, just looking at the, high, the volume right now, it's 605, this is going to do about 1.2, 1.3 billion, and the NYSE, and I suspect the NASDAQ is going to be a monster, let's see what the monster is. Right now, yeah, we're four point, look at, we're 4.1, what we did yesterday was 4.6. The, the NASDAQ will probably do 5 billion shares. So you're gonna have a lower price, higher volume, no matter what the market does right now. Dow Industrials right now down 79, NASDAQ's off 239, S&P's are off 30. Stay right there, folks, we'll come right back.